Cocaine, that's right. Cocaine was found in the West Wing of the White House this weekend, throwing the Secret Service into investigation mode. But in the meantime, Team Biden has few answers on how it got there. Where, uh, where this was discovered uh, is a heavily traveled area where many White House, uh, West Wing, I should be even more specific, uh, West Wing visitors uh, come through uh, this particular area. I just don't have anything more to share. It is under investigation by the Secret Service. Joining us now, Tommy Laren is Fearless um, Outkick host. Great to see you. Tommy, um, translation to KJP there is basically, there's no way it could be Hunter Biden. <laughs> yeah, uh, we take everything that she says with a grain of salt, by the way. But this whole thing is just really unbelievable because you would think and you would know that the screening process to get into the White House, no matter what area it is, should be a little bit more stringent that somebody couldn't get in with a bag of cocaine. So again, that's why we have all these questions. And obviously, it leads us down the road of feeling like this could possibly be the president's son, given his track record. But if it's not the president's son, then they should be transparent about it. Did Secret Service fail? Did a staffer fail? But I think we all know that some low-level staffer or some non-existent person is going to get blamed for this and we're never going to get the true story. But this is also a national security issue. They're not taking this very seriously, it seems. Kind of like they're not taking the situation at our southern border very seriously where drugs are slipping through right, left, and center. So this is a pattern for this administration. Well, I think that's a good point because if you're a, a president and you have cocaine in the White House, I think most every other president we've had would have been outraged by it. They would have been angry. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to find out who it was and we're going to prosecute them. But you're right, this White House seemed very passive because I have to believe not only does the White House know, but every single American citizen knows there's only one cocaine crack addict that's going to the White House and the West Wing, and that would be one Hunter Biden, the first son. Right, but that's what happens when you have an entire media conglomerate yeah. covering for you, an entire media regime. So the Biden family, they can do no wrong. And even after Hunter Biden, with all of his problems, all of his scandals, his investigations, his charges, he's still going to White House events. He's still very close to his father. Oh, yeah. They're shameless and they are brazen with this because they, quite frankly, are laughing at us. They don't care. They know the media's got their back, and they know that this is going to get covered up just like everything else. Yeah, and amidst all this, actually, they're spending more time together than ever, it seems. But, Tommy, while I have you, you interviewed Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for your show on OutKick. Here's a preview of what he said about the drug discovery in the White House. Well, I've long believed, I think a lot of us have believed, that the Biden administration's been blowing it on a lot of fronts, but I guess it's a little bit more literal than even I had thought. I can tell you in Florida, my wife and I, we have a six, five, and a three-year-old running around the governor's mansion, so that's not something that we see. We do have to occasionally get slime out of the carpet and get marker off the wallpaper, but that's the extent of our adventures at the governor's mansion. Tommy. As it should be. Yes, I have an exclusive interview with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis coming up at 7 p.m. Eastern, streaming on OutKick, Facebook, YouTube, and OutKick.com. And we cover that and so much more. So I hope people will give it a watch. He also has a message for Trump supporters who might be a little conflicted right now. So that's coming up very soon on OutKick. You know, Tommy, uh, we also spoke earlier about the federal judge limiting communications between the White House and social media companies. You were actually mentioned in the judge's ruling. How does that make you feel? You're part of the fight for free speech, Tommy. <laughs> It's a nice to have the acknowledgement. I'm on page 16 of this wonderful opinion, by the way. And the gist of it is this. The White House digital director instructed Facebook to reduce me on the platform, given I was talking about how I would personally not receive the COVID vaccine. So apparently that's grounds for reduction when you're colluding with big tech, big government, and the big guy. I'm happy to see this opinion. I hope that there is some accountability and something gets done. Yeah, so many conservatives were censored. It's mm -hmm. a pretty amazing. Um, Tommy Laren, thank you. Make sure to check out Tommy Laren is Fearless tonight, 7 p.m.